grace, mercy and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And also with you. God the Father forgives us in Christ and heals us by the Holy Spirit. Let us therefore put away all anger and bitterness, all slander and malice, and confess our sins to God our Redeemer. Father, you come to meet us when we return to you. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Jesus, you died on the cross for our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Spirit, you give us life and peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May the God of love and power forgive you and free you from your sins, heal and strengthen you by his Spirit, and raise you to new life in Christ our Lord. Let us pray. Gracious Father, revive your church in our day and make her holy, strong and faithful. For your glory's sake, in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. The same night he got up and took his two wives, his two maids and his eleven children and crossed the ford of the Jabbok. He took them and sent them across the stream and likewise everything that he had. Jacob was left alone and a man wrestled with him until daybreak. When the man saw that he did not prevail against Jacob he struck him on the hip socket and Jacob's hip was put out of joint as he wrestled with him. Then he said, Let me go, for the day is breaking. But Jacob said, I will not let you go unless you bless me. So he said to him, What is your name? And he said, Jacob. Then the man said, You shall no longer be called Jacob, but Israel, for you have striven with God and with humans, and have prevailed. Then Jacob asked him, Please tell me your name. He said, why is it that you ask my name? And there he blessed him. So Jacob called the place Peniel, saying, For I have seen God face to face, and yet my life is preserved. The sun rose upon him as he passed Penuel, limping because of his hip. This is the word of the Lord. Come all ye 
vagabonds, come all you don't belong, winners and losers and people like me. Come all you travellers, tired from the journey, come wait a while, stay a while, welcome you. Looking for answers and searching for reasons and sensing it all. Come all you fallen and come all you broken, find strength for your body and food for your soul. Come to the feast that is room at the table. Come let us meet in this place with the king of all kindness who welcomes us in with a wonder and love and the power of grace. The wonder of love and the power of grace. Come those who worry about houses and money, and all those who don't have a care in the world. From every station and orientation, the helpless, the hopeless, the young and the old. Come to the feast that is room at the table. Come let us meet in this place. With the king of all kindness who welcomes us in The wonder of love and the power of grace The wonder of love and the power of grace Come all believers and dreamers and schemers And turn all you restless just searching for help Movers and shakers and givers and takers The happy, the sad and the lost and the young Self-sufficient with weary ambition And come those who feel at the end of the road Fiery debaters and religion haters Accusers, abusers, the hurt and ignored Come to the feast, there is room at the table Come, let us meet in this place With the king of all kindness who welcomes us in With the wonder of love and the power the wonder of love and the power of grace. The wonder of love and the power of grace. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Now when Jesus heard this, he withdrew from there in a boat to a deserted place by himself. But when the crowds heard it, they followed him on foot from the towns. When he went ashore, he saw a great crowd, and he had compassion for them and cured their sick. When it was evening, the disciples came to him and said, This is a deserted place, and the hour is now late. Send the crowds away, so that they may go into the villages and buy food for themselves. Jesus said to them, They need not go away. You give them something to eat. They replied, We have nothing here but five loaves and two fish. And he said, Bring them here to me. Then he ordered the crowds to sit down on the grass. Taking the five loaves and the two fish, he looked up to heaven and blessed and broke the loaves and gave them to the disciples and the disciples gave them to the crowds and all ate and were filled. And they took up what was left over of the broken pieces, twelve baskets full. And those who ate were about five thousand men, besides women and children. This is the Gospel of the Lord. May the words of my lips and the meditations of all our hearts be now and always acceptable in your sight. O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. Amen. Today I'm going to base my sermon on the Old Testament reading, uh, the story of Jacob. Um, that's at least in part because um, over the years I think I've preached quite a lot of sermons on the feeding of the 5,000 and I'm struggling to find much new to say. If you haven't heard any about the feeding of the 5,000, then perhaps write your own and some good places to start might be around uh, generosity and 
God's generosity and the crowd's generosity. I'll leave it to you from there. So Jacob wrestled with a man who he found out later was God. And my question for all of us is, has there been a time when you've wrestled with God? I find that my prayer time is most productive when I have some big issues in my life that I'm trying to resolve. And I think that is wrestling with God. It's not a simple case of <clears throat> taking a question to God and sitting back waiting for an answer. It is more turning it over and looking at it from different sides and listening. And I think eventually, at least for me, there was no sort of clear-cut, blinding revelation that uh, one approach was the right answer and another the wrong. Instead, it was over a period of time and for really big issues, uh, that time could be something like six months or longer, that I came to find myself reaching uh, a position of comfort about the next action to take. A most obvious example would be when I was wrestling with whether I had a call to ordination. That went on for at least six months. Um, there were times when people either asked me whether I was considering it or told me I should consider it. But that didn't necessarily help. And I found myself some days thinking that perhaps the answer was yes, and some days perhaps thinking that the answer was no. But there wasn't that final settling of it. And if it's not something you've done and you do have some uh, big issue in your life that you are trying to resolve, then taking it to God and wrestling with God and the issue can be, I found, a helpful way to tackle it. Jacob, in today's story, found himself um, lame after wrestling with God. And I think perhaps there is something of that when we have big and difficult decisions to make. Because more often than not, those big decisions aren't a case of choosing right from wrong. They are a case of balancing two, uh, two options, both of which could be good and trying to work out which is the right one for you, which is God's call for you. And when you have that kind of decision, where there isn't a right and a wrong answer, very often you are trading off benefits and disbenefits. And whichever option you choose, there will be some downside from not having chosen the other option. That said, 
what other way can there be? Take these things to God in prayer. Don't necessarily take the first answer you think you hear. But ask, and ask again, and ask about the downsides. And only when you have reached a place of comfort with one option have you wrestled with God like Jacob and seen him face to face. Amen. Let us declare our faith in God. We, we believe in God the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named. We believe in God the Son, who lives in our hearts through faith and fills us with his love. We believe in God the Holy Spirit, who strengthens us with power from on high. We believe in one God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, today we pray for people who have little or nothing, for those who feel trapped in their situation and can't see the bigger picture or even any tiny glimmer of light. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for people who are hungry, for parents who struggle to feed their children and themselves. We thank you for the work of food banks and pray that they would have the resources to continue to meet so many needs. Lord, in your mercy. We pray that you would give us an appreciation of our food, the work that goes into producing and distributing it. Teach us not to be wasteful, but to preserve and pass on the goodness of your earth. Lord, in your mercy. 
We pray for those battling with ill health. Give them the blessing of strengthening hope and healing. We remember those who have asked for our prayers. Lord, in your mercy. Lord, we place into your hands all who have died recently. May they have peace in the joy of your presence forever. Please bring your love and comfort to all those who are grieving. And we, re we remember too those whose year's mind falls this week. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for all who have the responsibility of leading your flock. Give them your blessing of wisdom and strength. Lord, in your mercy. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done. On earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Blessed are the peacemakers, they shall be called the children of God. We meet in his name and share his peace. The peace of the triune God be with you always. And also with you. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Brother, sister, let me serve you. Let me be as Christ to you. Pray that I may have the grace to we are pilgrims on a journey, fellow travellers on the road. We are here to help each other walk the mile and bear the load. I will hold the Christ light for you. In the night time of your fear, I will hold my hand out to you, speak the peace you long to hear. I will weep when you are weeping, when you laugh, I'll laugh with you. I will share your joy and sorrow till we've seen this journey through. When we sing to God in heaven, we shall find such harmony. On our all we know together of Christ's love and agony. Brother, sister, let me serve you, let me be as Christ to you. Pray that I may have the grace to let you be my servant too. of God which passes all understanding keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son Jesus Christ our Lord and the blessing of God Father Son and Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always Amen, Amen. go in peace to love and serve the Lord in the name of Christ Amen Amen